Imagine being in prison for 50 years, going mad with insanity, never seeing your home again, with your wife going crazy trying to find you. Just imagine that pain and struggle and suffering for 51 years. Today I'm going to talk to you about the fate of Flight Lieutenant Vijay Vasant Tambe, who is still believed to be inside Pakistan as a POW from the 1971 war. After completing his 23rd NDA course, Flight Lieutenant Vijay Vasant Tambe was selected to become a pilot in the Indian Air Force. He was commissioned in the Indian Air Force on the 28th of October 1963 as a pilot officer. He saw some action in the 1965 war and by the year 1971, he had become a flight lieutenant serving in the 32nd squadron of the Indian Air Force. He was an expert Sukhoi 7 fighter pilot. The 32nd squadron of the Indian Air Force was being commanded by Wing Commander H.S. Mangat. And after war officially broke out with Pakistan on the 3rd of December 1971, from the 4th of December, the IAF on the Western Front had started retaliating against Pakistan. From the 32nd Squadron, Wing Commander H.S. Mangat and his team attacked the Sargodha Air Base of the Pakistan Air Force, while Squadron Leader V.K. Bhatia and Flight Lieutenant V.V. Tambe, alongside many other pilots, formed another team and attacked the Shorkot Road Air Base of the Pakistan Air Force. All these attacks started from the 4th of December, 1971. The attacks under the command of Squadron Leader V.K. Bhatia were extremely successful. Flight Lieutenant V.V. Tambe, Squadron Leader Bhatia and the other pilots had destroyed about three Pakistani aircrafts on the first day of the strike. On the 5th of December, the team under Squadron Leader V.K. Bhatia alongside Flight Lieutenant V.V. Tambe had attacked the Shorkot Road Air Base again, but this time disaster struck the team. Unfortunately, Pakistani anti-aircraft gun firing was extremely high for which Flight Lieutenant Malvinder Singh Grewal was shot down. He had ejected but he was taken as prisoner by the Pakistanis. He was later repatriated next year in December 1972 through the Waga border. But during this attack, squadron leader VK Bhatia and Flight Lieutenant VV Tambe together had destroyed about three Pakistani sabers which were inside the hangars inside the Shorkot Road Air Base. But alongside Pakistani anti-aircraft firing, this time two F-86 sabers took off and they engaged the team of Sukhoi 7s. Squadron leader VK Bhatia ordered all of the pilots to pull out and for the time being, all of them were safe. On the third strike on Sharkot Road Air Base, led by squadron leader VK Bhatia, followed by flight lieutenant VV Tambe, unfortunately, this attack was going to be hell for the Indian Air Force. Right during the attack, Pakistani anti-aircraft firing was much heavier than before. Squadron leader Bhatia fired rockets on the hangars of the air base, while flight lieutenant VV Tambe went for a nose dive and at that time, Pakistani anti-aircraft firing hit his aircraft. In front of the eyes of squadron leader VK Bhatia, Flight Lieutenant VV Tambe's aircraft crashed right onto the runway of the Shorkot Road Air Base. Seeing this, squadron leader Bhatia just managed to report to the report back of Flight Lieutenant VV Tambe's crash. He fired more rockets onto the hangars and returned back. And it was on the 5th of December, the same day when Flight Lieutenant VV Tambe had crashed, did the Pakistan Observer newspaper report to the world that Flight Lieutenant BB Tambe was actually captured by the Pakistani armed forces. This brought hope to the Indian Air Force and to the wife of Flight Lieutenant BB Tambe, Ms. Gamayanti Tambe. Unfortunately, after the war had ended, there was no report or no idea about the whereabouts of Flight Lieutenant BB Tambe. Eventually, many POWs were later exchanged and repatriated back to India alongside many Indian Air Force officers. But there was no sign of Flight Lieutenant Vivi Tambe. There were reports of his presence inside various Pakistani jails, but yet there was no concrete evidence of where he was exactly. And for the next 51 years, Ms. Damayanti Tambe would be the lone crusader in trying to find out the whereabouts of her husband. The name of Flight Lieutenant Vijay Vasant Tambe features on the official list of the Indian prisoners of war still believed to be languishing in Pakistani jails, who are listed as missing in action. Amongst the 56 names, his name is still there and it was presented to the Lok Sabha in 1979. Ms. Damayanti Tambe alongside many other family members of Indian defense personnel missing in action from the 1971 war had visited Pakistan and had visited numerous Pakistani jails to identify the loved ones who might still be there but they never found anybody. Ms. Damayanti Tambe never found her husband. This is a very sad story that still lingers around and one can just imagine the plight of his wife Ms. Damayanti Tambe. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this video around so that word spreads out about this. Thank you.